A few days ago, a viewer left a comment asking, what about that green grasshopper sucking water from my eggplant? Is it harmful? How do I stop it? And that really inspired me to make today's video. And if you have spotted green small insects on your plants, especially your eggplants, your herbs, your flowers, this might be exactly what's happening. And it could be more dangerous than anything. So let's break down the myths and find the real solution together. So what is that tiny green grasshopper? That small green insect is not helping your plant. It's not giving it water or, or nutrients. In fact, it's doing the exact opposite. It might be known locally as green grasshopper or leafhopper or jumping bug and mind you my plant doesn't have that right now so if you are trying to inspect in this video the eggplant to see whether it has I'm just referring to the question answering the question um, that was left by a wonderful viewer and these pests don't water the plant they feed on it specifically they chew or suck from the leaves and the soft stems they drain nutrients and weaken the plants over time and over time large infestations lead to leaf curling or yellowing as well as slowed growth and reduced crop yields as well. So let's talk about the myth that we are tackling right here. Let's clear this once and for all. No, the green bug is not helping your plants absorb water. And no, it's not increasing hydration. And definitely no, it doesn't create a shortcut to your plant's roots. Plants absorb water through their roots, not through bites or bug contact. So while the bug may seem harmless, it's slowly draining your plant's strength, unfortunately. So I want you to think of it like someone poking holes in your water tank. It really does add up. So how do you protect your plants? So here is how to naturally and safely get rid of insects or green grasshoppers or any similar pest that you're tackling with. And this is what I do. So number one, uh, or step one, I will try as much as possible to attract natural predators. So I will try to attract birds, ladybugs, and even frogs, if that is an option, to the area that I live in. Um, because these wonderful predators love to snack on these pests. And they also are more than welcome in my own garden. So I really advise you to let your garden welcome them. Step two is I go ahead and I will spray with neem oil. So I personally use 100% pure neem oil mixed with water in a spray bottle. I get it from Bunnings. You can get it from whatever horticultural store you have nearby. And you start off by spraying the leaves top and bottom every few days. And what it does here, it really helps to repel pests and keep the plants safe. Now, it's not non-toxic it's natural and it works like magic over time. The third thing that I will be doing is using a protective mesh. So if the infestations are really severe, I will consider covering my plants with breathable mesh and this will really help to block pest access without stopping light and air from coming in. Also, strengthen the plant as well. This is a really good strategy. So while you deal with bugs, please make sure that the plant is as healthy as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and water consistently based on the plant's needs. I will also use organic mulch. I could use straw or dried leaves. This really helps to retain soil moisture. And I will also add compost or organic fertilizers to improve the root strength. This really does depend on the fertilization program that I'm uh, following for specific plants. And a healthy plant feist pests better than, you know, um, uh, plants that you haven't offered these protection methods to. So no, those green bugs are not helping your plants, but you can. You need to understand the science and you need to use natural pest control techniques. That way you'll grow healthier plants, stronger harvest, and also a garden that thrives. So if you have seen these bugs around in your garden, let me know in the comments. Maybe we can help be able to identify them together. Also subscribe for more gardening tips like these as I learned them along the way, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and have a great day.